What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Walkthrough. Okay, so, again, the, the, this whole part, this portion of this adventure is in no particular order. It's mainly because, hey, you know, we captured a few certain legendaries, and we kind of want to connect the dots a little bit. So in this episode right here, we will be showing you guys what happens when you add uh, the three emotional Pokemon onto your team. We are playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, so we are entitled to go get Palkio right here. Now, if you're playing Alpha Sapphire, Dialga is the guy for you. And then after that, we're going to make a special trade because uh, we got some stuff to do right after we bring that Dialga straight to this game right here. So let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and uh, just uh, use our Eon Flute right here and uh, make our way straight to wherever this place uh, or this 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 little this Pokemon right here uh, takes us. So here it is, Mega Evolution. Wish I could have like turned Super Saiyan and all that stuff. So as you can see, uh, there's a whole bunch of spots right here. But now that you have the three legendary Pokemon or in your in your team, you can see a rip right there in the sky. Go straight for it. And then, from there, you guys know what happens next. It's going to be fun. Very, 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 very fun. Look at that. A rip in the time space. Oh, my God. There's a huge gap in the sky. The space surrounding the gap is distorted as if it's somehow been twisted. You want to fly into the gap? Sure. Let's go right ahead and get in there. And as you can hear, ooh, yeah. Bam! Palkia has appeared. Now, again, if you're playing Pokemon Omega Ruby, you will be getting Palkia. Alpha Sapphire, you got Dialga. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business right here. That's right. This guy looks like a big old robot. I think I'm going to use a Thunder Wave because, yes, we've been using the same technique over and over and over again, and it's worked. So, why break something that's not been broken, right? Exactly. So, look at that. He's paralyzed, or I, I can't be subjective to genders or anything like that. But, let's go with Tank. Now, the cool thing about Valkia is that it's both a Steel and Dragon type Pokemon. It could be wrong. It's a Steel and Dragon? It could be wrong. I don't know. Let me let me check this, uh, this, this, this guide right here, okay? So, let's see. Right here. And we're looking at the two legendary Pokemon from Sinnoh right here. And uh, it doesn't say it's... Oh wow, it doesn't say it's typing. Never mind. Whatever. Let's just go ahead and just lower its uh its HP. Let's make sure that we can capture this guy. And from what it sounds like, yes, it is a oh wow. Oh wow, it is a very powerful Pokemon. That was Aurora Sphere. If you guys don't know, that's a fighting type move and <laughs> that is scary. Very, very scary. So here we go again. And uh, here comes its signature move, Special Rend. Bam! Nearly destroys Tank right here. So, now that's it in the red, let's go right ahead and use this uh, Timer Ball right here. Yes, again, guys, the strategy does that. Uh, if, if, if the strategy is not broken, then why fix it? So here it is, the Alga just, or Palkia is just breaking out of it. Now, when I first played Pokemon Omega, or uh, Pokemon Platinum, I seriously thought that these two Pokemon, these signature Pokemon, Palkia and Dialga, were actually robots because they do kind of look like Megazords or something like that. Or something that you would see from like Godzilla versus Mega Godzilla. I think this one looks like Mega Godzilla. And oh god, here comes a special rend. Ooh. Damn. Messing me up. Tank has served its purpose right there. Alrighty, okay, so uh, there goes Tank. Let's go right ahead and use. Uh, let's go. Let's go with Sage. Now, the, there's a, there's just a little problem within my team, and that is that I have three other Psychic type Pokemon on there. Can't be using them because, uh, well, I don't know how Palkia's gonna just beat the crap out of him. But he, I, I know for a fact that Palkia's gonna just beat the crap out of him. So there's one. There's two. Come on, three and yes. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you capture another Pokemon right there. So. There it is, guys. We captured one of the legendary Pokemon from Sinnoh, one of the signature ones from Pokemon Pearl. And as you can see, this guy right here, Palkia, the spatial Pokemon. It is both water and dragon. Okay, so that right there was kind of like a misconception right there. So, it is 13 feet, 740 pounds of space. It is said to live in a gap in the spatial dimension parallel to ours. It appears in mythology. You don't say. And uh, no, I will not be nicknaming this guy right here. 
Okay, so, after that has happened, we gotta go back to a Pokemon Center right here because, uh, well, we got stuff to do. And, uh, you know what? Hold on just a sec. Maybe there's a, another cave right there close to some other caves that we need to go to. So, we're gonna go back to Moss Deep, mainly because the next thing we're going to be doing is gonna be close to Moss Deep. So, what is going to happen right now is I'm going to make a trade with Pokemon, uh, with my Pokemon Alpha Zapphire. I'm going to be trading for, what's his face, uh, for Dialga, and then after that I will be back to show you what happens after this, okay? So I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, so I did a quick trade with my Alpha Zephyr copy right here and now we have both Dialga and Palkia right on our team. So let me just show you guys Dialga. And as you can see, this is the Steel and Dragon type Pokemon that you'll normally find. It does have Aurora Sphere, Iron Tail, Roar of Time, and Flash Cannon. Some pretty good moves. And then, well, let me show you uh, the other Pokemon that I caught in the last, last thing right here. Both Water and Dragon does have Pressure as well. Earth Power, Aurora Sphere, Special Rend, and the Hydro Pump. So now, when you have both these Pokemon on your team, all you need to do now is use the Eon Flute and uh, make your way to probably the same spot, if not somewhere else. I, I can't really remember. So there we go, Mega Evolution, and uh, away we go. So let's see, where, oh, where could it be? Not right there. Where, oh, where, oh, look at that, it's right there. Okay, so we're going to be heading uh, straight forward to the place that it all started. And as many of you guys already know, we got one more Sinnoh Pokemon to capture, and that is this guy right here. There's a huge gap in the sky. The killer scenery that you've never seen before stretches beyond it, the gap. You want to fly into the gap? Hell yes, I do. Giggity. Do you not hear that? Oh man, this brings back memories. So here it is, guys. Giratina. Ready and waiting to go. Now, this guy right here is the, basically the equivalent of the devil. Yeah, the equivalent of the devil. I think in Pokemon, uh, what was it? Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum? Yeah. It's a lot of belief and stuff, so let's go right ahead and use the same old methods as always. Thunder Wave and Tank for the win right here. Now, I think I can't use Tank because uh, Giratina is probably still a ghost type, and wow. There we go with uh, with more internet stuff, but luckily for us, we can still play this while the internet is off. So what we're going to do, let's see if we can actually use Tank on this guy. If we can't, then uh, we're going to have to use one of these uh, legendary Pokemon to actually help us out right here. So here we go, Tank. Let's go. And here comes a Shadow Force. Wow. And, well, we're going to have to, let's see. For the time being, we're just going... We're, we're, no, we're not going to use a Pokito. They, that's going to make us escape right there. So, what's going to happen is... Uh, damn. What can I use? Okay, so I can't really do anything. Except, you know what? Let's waste a turn right here. Let's go straight for Amnesia. It couldn't, help, it couldn't hurt right here. So, here we go, Amnesia. It's going to be raising up its special defense. And here comes that Shadow Force. Does not affect Tank. Uh, so if that's the case, let's see what the, uh, yeah, the Body Slam does not work on Giratina. But that does. Okay, so, we do have a move that can affect this guy, and it is Crunch. I'm just a little too scared to use it against this guy, because it's still a Ghost-type Pokemon. And that right there is super effective. So, we should try it one more time just to make sure that, you know, oh wow. Yeah, we're, we're going to try it one more time. Hopefully it's not a critical hit or anything. But we're just going to try and weaken Giratina right here. So here we go. Bam. And uh, it is paralyzed. Okay, so it's worked before. And uh, hopefully it does. It, it works again. So we're going to start throwing some uh, timer balls at this guy. It's kind, of a, it's kind of fitting that we're capturing these Pokemon with timer balls. Since their, you know, their mythology or their lore is, you know, time, space, and... Uh, I don't know what, what the other one was. Reality? Oh, I don't know. Time, space, and all that stuff. So here we go again. Another timer ball. Come on, Giratina. You know you want to be part of this team right here. And good gravy. This guy is not letting a, He's not letting anything happen. So what happens if it uses Shadow Force again? I want to know. So here we go. Another timer ball. Come on, stay in that ball. 
Two. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> nearly caught the guy. And uh, that, that hex does not work against me, so. All right, let's go. Timer bolt, come on. Come on. Oh, Giratina, you are being so lame right now. So here comes another Aurora Sphere. And, uh, well, I guess Aurora Sphere happens to be a, uh, a special attack right here. So luckily for us, we did Amnesia. Won't be affecting us as much. So let's go with another Timer Ball. And, yes, this guy escapes. All right. You can't move. So this should probably work right here. Now, normally, it takes about, like, five to six minutes, maybe seven minutes to actually capture these legendary Pokemon. That's what I've seen. And look at that. We caught him. <laughs> Yeah! Okay! So, there we go again, guys. We caught ourselves the last of the Sinnoh Pokemon uh, Legends. Giratina right here. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. So, here it is. Giratina, the Renegade Pokemon, Altered Form. It is both Ghost and Dragon-type Pokemon. It is 14 feet, 1,653 pounds of pure evil. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours, where common knowledge is distorted and strange. This is true, guys. Remember, Pokemon Platinum. That was a that was a that, that, that was a fun situation. That really was a fun situation. We almost got our butts kicked by Cyrus, and then this happens and all that stuff. So, since the internet right here is off, of course, I'm gonna go off screen to just you know go back to the Pokemon Center and take a look at the new Pokemon right here, which is Giratina. So, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys. So we fast forward straight to the Pokemon Center right here, and here it is, Giratina, the Renegade Pokemon. Of course, it is both Ghost and Dragon type, and as you can see, it does have Roar Sphere. Shadow Claw, Shadow Force, and Hex, and as you can see, it's, you know, its stats are pretty damn good. Uh, so yeah, that makes for all, well, pretty much all six, uh, legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh. Uh, within the next few episodes, you guys will be seeing many, many, many more captures. Um, of course, uh, you probably, yeah, you're gonna be seeing more captures of legendary Pokemon right here, uh, in How To. And then, uh, it will all end with, uh, the capturing of the three legendary golems of Hoenn. I'm saving that for later because that's actually the easiest way to, or the, those are the easiest Pokemon to actually find and capture since they're not really time-based or anything like that. So, again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will be back for another good episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. And then, uh, yeah, include it all, finish it all and all that crud. So, thank you guys once again. I'll see you guys next time.